Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Gordon Rushville Triangular, where today's matchups will pit the Gordon Rushville Mustangs against the Valentine Badgers in the first match. Then the Valentine Badgers will take on the Alliance Bulldogs in the second match, and then the nightcap will be the Mustangs and the Alliance Bulldogs. Thanks for joining us here this afternoon. We plan to have some great volleyball action for you here today. And glad to have you along on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Volleyball 2015. Let's say thanks to sponsors of today's action. The First National Bank of Gordon, Husker Auto Parts, Strong Insurance, Gordon True Value, the Bank of the West, Hens Home Furnishings, the Gordon Vision Center, State Farm Insurance, Accountant Carol Child, Modern Farm Equipment Company, Gordon Superfoods, and Sides and Milburn Ford of Rushville, and of course, the Sheridan County Journal Star, your source for all the news that is news in Sheridan County. Let's step aside for a word from our video sponsors and we will be back with some details on the teams as we get ready for the first match in the triangular today between the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the Valentine Badgers. These are exciting times here at New Holland Agriculture. It's no secret that dealers define who we are. This group of energized businessmen are delivering like never before. And what are they delivering? New products, service, and equipment for people with field smarts just like you. The Honda Accord EX. This 2008 sedan has a V6 engine, automatic transmission, and a leather interior. Sides of Milburn offer a world-class detailer, a professional service department, and now do consignments. Stop by Sides of Milburn Ford to see this car and many more. Gordon Superfoods is proud to sponsor Gordon Rushville Mustang football. Superfoods is a full-service grocery store that carries anything you might need. Check out the full-service meat department or satisfy your sweet tooth at the Sand Hills Bakery. They have tons of great deals weekly, and if you don't have a rewards card, be sure to get one today. Good luck, Mustangs, from Gordon Superfoods. So just over six minutes left to go before the opening serve of today's match, the first of this triangular between Gordon Rushville, Valentine, and Alliance, and the first match here between the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the Valentine Badgers. Valentine comes into today's game with a record of six wins and 13 losses. They have had a rough stretch as of late, but they've had that rough stretch at the expense of some outstanding volleyball teams. So we'll see what we get from the Valentine Badgers here today at 6 and 13. Starters for the Badgers this afternoon. The libero is number one, Marisa Hutchinson. Number two is Nicole Lurs. Number three is Matea Eklund. Number four is Chloe Jones. Number eight, Sarah Shelbourne. Number 13, Macy Mathis. And depending on whether the Badgers are serving or receiving, the sixth starter will either be number nine, Allison Robinson, or number 10, Anna Parrott. For the Mustangs, they come into this afternoon's action with a season record of 11 wins and six losses. They are six and one over their last seven games. So the Mustangs playing pretty good volleyball as we work our way towards the tail end of this volleyball season. Starters for this afternoon. Number one, Shania Friesman. Number two, Carly Hinn. Number three, Ashton Sassy. Number four, Kenna Campbell. 
number 11, Josie Perez, and at number 17, Keeley Campbell. So no changes to the Mustangs starting lineup as they try to keep this thing rolling and put another W or a couple of them on the board here this afternoon. Four minutes and 30 seconds to the start of today's match. We will step aside and let you enjoy some of the pregame warmups as we are just about four minutes away from getting this thing underway. While we've got a minute, let's take a look at the Mustangs' schedule as we work our way towards the end of the volleyball season. Mustangs in action here this evening in the Gordon Rushville Triangular. Then on Saturday, they, they head all the way down to Utica. That is a long, long road trip, and they'll be playing in a very difficult tournament there in Utica. They'll see some different competition and some very good competition as they get ready for district action. And then October 20th versus the Moral Lions. And I'm not sure if we've got that Moral game on our schedule or not. You'll have to check with the website and uh, see what we've got in store there. The website will certainly tell you if we're going to carry that game or not. The Mustang football team also winding down the season as they'll be in action tomorrow night. They travel to Shadron for their annual rivalry game against the Cardinals. That is tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. That is a 6 o'clock start tomorrow night. And then they'll finish up the season at home against the Ogallala Indians. So we work our way closer to the start of this afternoon's action, two and a half minutes before the opening serve of today's game between the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the Valentine Badgers. We are just about ready to get things underway. The clock winds down to zero. And the Gordon Rushville Triangular ready to get things started here. We'll see. I th we should have a national anthem provided here. 
And we will, and we'll turn it over to Cody Darnell. Looks like he'll be providing the national anthem for us here this afternoon. National anthem well done there by Cody Darnell. Actually, we'll turn it back over to the PA announcer for the introductions of the starting lineups. starting lineups. We'll run through them one more time for you here. I know it's not always easiest to hear uh, with the PA announcer. So for the Valentine Badgers, the libero today is number one, that is Marisa Hutchinson. Number two, Nicole Lurz. Number three, Matea Eklund. Number four, Chloe Jones. Number eight, Sarah Shelbourne. Number 13, Macy Mathis. And we'll try to get a look and see who the sixth starter is. Indeed, it is number 10. That is Anna Parrott in the starting lineup for the Valentine Badgers. And for the Mustangs, and no big changes here. Number one, Shania Friesman. Number two, Carly Hinn. Number three, Ashton Sassy. Number four, Kenna Campbell. Number 11, Josie Perez. Number 17, Keeley Campbell. So first set action just about ready to get underway. The Mustangs will have the serve. That'll be Kenna Campbell back to serve it up and get things going this afternoon for the Mustangs. The officials are doing one last lineup check for both of these squads before we get things going. And uh, one programming note to pass along that we are planning to bring you the Valentine Alliance match, which will happen immediately following this matchup between the Mustangs and the Badgers. So we'll bring you all three matches tonight in this triangular, just about ready to get it underway. Here's Kenna Campbell, she's got the ball, ready to get things going. Kenna puts it into play, and away we go. And they'll set it in the middle, dug by Kenna Campbell, popped up by Keeley Campbell. Shania Friesman sends it to the back line, but that's dug out of there. Quick tip by the Badgers. Keeley Campbell sets it up in the middle for Carly Hinn, finds the back line for the Mustang point. One to zero Mustangs early going. Campbell's serve drops in and that is an ace for Kenna Campbell. Ace serve for the Mustangs, they lead it two to zero. Right down the left line, Eklund sets it up in the middle. Dug by Kenna Campbell, overpass into the net, 
and it is a Valentine Badger point. So that will put number three, Matea Eklund, back to serve for the Badgers. Eklund serve, high arcing serve, and that's dug by Perez. They'll set it back to Perez, and she hits that one beyond the end line. We are tied at two. A triangular action, and so it will be a best of three in all three of these, as there's a good short serve that time. It somehow popped over the net by Kenna Campbell. Great job that time. Kenna sets it up, finds Carly Hinn in the middle. Big swing, and that's dug out of there by Parrott. Now they'll set it in the middle. This is Jones. Now Friesman sends the free ball over. Dug again by Parrott. Now they'll set it up for Jones, and that one is beyond the end line and long. Mustang point, Then the Mustangs now lead it 3-2. to two. Early going of the first set. And this is served by Josie Perez. Eklund pops it up, and the attack that time. Ashton Sassy got a piece of it. Now it comes down out of the rafters, and a great play by Perez as she got that one over. And now the free ball back over. Eklund sets it up. The attack by Jones, dug by Sassy. Kenna Campbell sets it for Perez out of the back row, dug by Parrott. Kenna Campbell overpass that time. Kenna's there to clean it up. Keeley Campbell sets it in the middle for Hinn. Big swing that time. And will they get to it? No. Another kill for Carly Hinn. That's her second of the match. And the Mustangs lead it again now by two at four to two. Josie Perez with the serve. That one just clears the net. Parrott has a hard time handling it. That is an ace serve for Josie Perez. Second one on the afternoon for the Mustangs. They lead it five to two. Perez sends it beyond the end line and out. Makes it five to three. Mustangs lead it by two. Now into the game comes Allison Robinson. She takes the place of Parrott. Anna Parrott heads to the bench for a breather. So this is Chloe Jones on the serve. Kenna Campbell sets it in the middle for Hinn. Tip there and over top of the blocker and into the open space for another kill. Carly's third in the afternoon. Six to three Mustangs and now Carly Hinn steps back to serve. Hinn serves it deep to Mathis. And now the free ball comes over by Eklund. Now they'll set Friesman, and they're going to say that was touched by one of the Badgers. Point for the Mustangs. And the first kill of the afternoon for Shania Friesman. It's 7-3 Mustangs. Carly Hinn with a serve, shaking that right hand. Not sure what she did to it, but looks like she's fine and ready to put this into play. Kind of a change up that time on the serve. A little set it up, and that's off of Carly Hinn and Long as that's Allison Robinson on the attack that time. And it's seven to four. And back to serve for Valentine is Sarah Shelbourne. So Shelbourne, number eight, serves it. The Badgers trail seven to four. Carly Hinn tries to set that serve. And now we're gonna say that we must have a rotation violation. It is, and so the Mustangs get bailed out that time on the good serve. Mustangs get a point out of it. It's eight to four on the rotation violation on the Badgers. Now Keeley Campbell to serve. Now they'll set it up from the left side. Big swing that time, and it's Macy Mathis knocking that one down. And it's eight to five. The lead has been cut to three. Nicole Lurs. Back to serve for the Badgers. Keeley Campbell sets the serve. Kenna Campbell in the middle for Sassy. That one is long, out of bounds. And another Badger point as they're making a little bit of a run here. They've cut the lead to two. It's eight to six. The Lurs steps back to serve again. Keeley Campbell sets it. Kenna Campbell sets it up. This is Hinn sending that into the deep corner. Eklund sets it up. Back row attack that time. I think that was Mathis on the attack. And here's a big swing by Sassy, and that one too is long. It's a one-point game at 8-7. to seven.
Lurs ready to serve. Dug by Hinn. Kenna Campbell with the quick tip that time into the middle. And let the Valentine Badgers recover. And Campbell will set it up this time for Friesman with a big swing, finds the open space and knocks it down. Her second kill of the match. And it's nine to seven, Mustangs back ahead by two. Now Shania Friesman will go back to serve for the Mustangs. Lurs sets it up in the middle, tip try, but the one-handed save that time by Perez. And now the free ball sent over by Sassy. Eklund sets it up, and the tip try that time was effective as Mathis had a big blocker in front of her, tipped it over the top, and nobody covering short for the Mustangs. It's nine to eight. And Allison Robinson now serves for the Badgers. Keeley Campbell digs it. Kenna Campbell sets it up for Perez off the left side, off the blocker, and now they go to work. Mustangs back on offense. Perez with the drive. Here's Lurs with the set. And this is Jones off of the blocker and off of Friesman. And down Jones with the kill that time. And we are tied at nine. And the Mustangs made a run. The Badgers have made a run of their own to tie this game up at nine. And that serve is long. The Mustangs lead it now 10 to nine as Allison Robinson's serve goes long. Now Robinson will head out and a parrot back in to replace her in the back row. Ashton Sassy with the serve. Good serve down the line that time. The overpass knocked down by Campbell and Hinn, and it's 11 to nine for the Mustangs. This one is deep and off of Parrott. Ace serve for Ashton Sassy. The third ace of this first set for the Mustangs. They now lead it 12 to nine. Deep corner for Sassy. That's dug by Mathis. Now the free ball sent over by Jones. Sassy sets it to Kenna Campbell in the middle for Hinn. That's blocked at the net by Mathis. And down for a Badger point. It's 12 to 10. And now Macy Mathis will serve for the Badgers. Into the game comes number eight, Sarah Shelbourne. Sassy with the dig. Kenna Campbell. Carly Hinn from the left side, big swing, and just inside the back line. Carly Hinn's got four kills in the early going. They now lead it 13 to 10, and now Kenna Campbell will serve it up for the Mustangs. Three-point lead, early going of the first match of this Gordon Rushville Triangular. The first of three matches today. Mustangs taking on the Badgers, then Valentine and Alliance will play next, and then Alliance and Gordon Rushville after that, Carly Hinn with the tip. Set by Eklund, blocked at the net by Hinn. Perez, Kenna Campbell, back to Perez, off the block, one-handed save. Parrott sends it up there, and Eklund puts it across. Mustang's in trouble, and it finds the floor. 13 to 11. Two-point lead for the Mustangs, and Eklund back to serve for the Badgers. Sassy digs it. Kenna Campbell in the middle for Carly Hinn. Sent back across quickly. Campbell, this time it's Perez. Parrott with the dig. Eklund sets it up. Jones from the left side. Sassy got a piece of it. Friesman gets it into play, and Kenna Campbell sends it across. Now here's Shelbourne on the attack. Kenna Campbell for Perez. Parrott with another save that time. And now the free ball sent over by Mathis, but that one is wide of the mark and out of bounds. Mustangs now lead it 14 to 11, back to a three-point advantage for the Mustangs, and Josie Perez back to serve. Eklund sets it up for Jones on the right side, and that one is just on the line, says the line judge, and a point for the Badgers. Narrows that lead back to two at 14 to 12. Chloe Jones now to serve for Valentine. Sassy with the dig. Kenneth Campbell right side or left side for Friesman. 
Dug out by Jones. Blocked at the net by Hinn. Now they'll try to tip it to the back corner. Well done. Just beyond the reach of Ashton Sassy. Back to a one-point game. It's 14 to 13. Sassy with the dig. Kenneth Campbell sets it up. Friesman, big swing, but dug out there by Mathis. And that one is hit in the net by Allison Robinson. Another point for the Mustangs. It's 15 to 13. Carly Hinn to serve. And there's an ace serve by Carly Hinn. That is her first and the Mustangs fourth ace of this first set. Mustangs lead it again by three at 16 to 13. Mathis with the dig, the quick tip try that time and sent right back over by Lurs. Kind of a tip battle there and Lurs found the open spot in that back corner of the Mustang side. And it's 16 to 14. Shelbourne will serve for Valentine. Perez with a dig, Kenna Campbell, left side for Friesman. She got under that one just a little more than she wanted to. It sails well beyond the end line. 16 to 15, Mustang lead, it, Mustang lead is cut to just one. In with the dig, Kenna Campbell, Friesman on the attack. That's off the blocker. Eklund with the set. Kenna Campbell again in the middle for Sassy. Sassy kind of smirks as she turned around that time, found the open space, and gets the kill. 17 to 15 Mustangs. Keeley Campbell with the serve. Dug out by Jones. This is Mathis on the attack, and that is well beyond the end line. Another Mustang point. And pushes it back to a three-point lead, 18 to 15. Mustangs haven't trailed in this set. It's been tied a couple of times. They've led by as many as four. There's a great serve by Keeley Campbell. Kenna Campbell sets it up for Friesman. Off the block. Set up there by Lurs. Tip try. And Keeley Campbell can't get to it. And a badger point. 18 to 16. The lures to serve. And uh, Josie Perez got caught in between. She wanted to set that and then thought maybe it was high enough it was going to be long and got out of the way just in time to see it hit the end line. One point game now, 18 to 17. Hinn with the overpass, and that one is knocked right down by Allison Robinson, and we are tied at 18. So to this point, every time Valentine has made a run, the Mustangs have answered and opened up another lead. Carly Hinn sets the serve. They go for the attack from the back row by Perez. That is long, and it is the first lead of the ball game for the Valentine Badgers. They now lead it 19 to 18. And we got a timeout called on the floor by head coach Kim Campbell gives us an opportunity to let you know that the First National Bank proudly celebrates over 125 years of locally made decisions and supporting our community. Husker Auto Parts is your local CarQuest dealer, offering a wide selection of CarQuest parts and CarQuest accessories. Stop in at 221 North Main Street in Gordon and ask about their fall bulk oil sale that's going on now. You can give them a call at 282-2100. Family owned since 1932, Strong Insurance is your independent insurance company offering all forms of insurance. Stop in today at North on North Main Street in Gordon. The Mustangs use their first timeout. They trail it 19 to 18 in the first set. Lures to serve. Perez digs it. Here's Friesman on the attack. And on the tape, didn't get it across. And now Valentine leads it by two at 20 to 18. 
So a closely contested game the whole way in this first set. Here's a dig by Keeley Campbell. They'll set it up. This is Perez out of the back row. And Perez gets the kill off of Jones. Josie's first kill of the match. Mustangs back within one at 20 to 19. And Shania Friesman will serve for the Mustangs. She's got that good top spin jump serve. Sends it across and it's dug out of there. They'll set it up. This is Eklund on the attack. Takes the sharp angle and gets it to fall for the Badgers. Pushes that lead back to two. It's 21 to 19. Allison Robinson now to serve. Carly Hinn gets it to Kenna Campbell. Kenna with the heads up play, the quick look, finds it on the quick tip. Nobody home for the Badgers. 21-20 is the Badger lead. And Ashton Sassy to serve for Gordon Rushville. That one's attempted by Parrott, but it is an ace serve for Ashton Sassy, and we are all tied up. That's Ashton's second ace of the set, tied at 21. Deep corner. Lurs sets it up. The Mustangs dig it out. Here's Perez. Sharp angle shot. Jones can't handle it. Perez with another kill, and the Mustangs on a three-point run, they lead it by one at 22 to 21. Timeout now called by the Valentine Badgers. Mustangs lead it 22-21 late in the first set. And it is that time of the year. October's just about gone, and it's time, if you haven't done it already, to get out and winterize your home and yard before it's too late. And the people to help you out with that are Buck and his crew at True Value of Gordon. They've got everything you need to winterize whatever you need winterized. Stop in and see them downtown Gordon. Come bank with the best. Bank of the West offers all banking services, including mortgages. Come enjoy their welcoming atmosphere. The coffee pot is always on at the Bank of the West. First set action. Mustangs lead it 22 to 21. Ashton Sassy with the serve. Dug by Parrott. Lures with the set. This is Jones on the attack. Keeley Campbell didn't get much on it. And it's a Valentine Badger point. Second kill of the set for Jones. We're tied at 22. Macy Mathis back to serve for Valentine. Friesman sets it. Kenna Campbell across to Carly Hinn. Big swing off the block, but Lurz is there. Here's the quick attack by the Badgers. Mustangs back to work. Here's Hinn again. Big swing dug out by Lurz. Free ball sent across quickly. Mustangs back to work. In the middle for Hinn. Tip try. And there's Eklund. Friesman. They'll set it up this time for Perez through the blocker, but Mathis is there. And Valentine not interested in setting up any kind of offense. They're just sending that ball back across. And finally, Perez hits it wide. It's 23 to 22. Valentine leads it by one. So Macy Mathis to serve for Valentine. And now we've got a timeout called on the floor. Mustangs use their second timeout of the set. 23 to 22. They trail by one. Hens Home Furnishings invites you to come and see their completely remodeled store. New items are arriving daily. They have a full line of appliances, sofas, recliners, mattresses, and a whole lot more. And if you don't see what you're looking for, they can get it for you. They also offer free local delivery. And remember, every dollar you spend locally keeps money in our community. Stop in and see the good folks at Hens Home Furnishings in Gordon. Mathis puts it into play. Friesman with the dig. Kenna Campbell sets it up for Carly Hinn. Big swing through the block. Now Lurz sets it up. Here's Jones on the tip try. Kenna Campbell sets it for Hinn, and Hinn's attack is long, and that'll bring up set point as it's now 24 to 22. Valentine with a chance to close it out. Mustangs need to score two straight here to keep this game going. Sassy with the dig. Kenna Campbell across for Carly Hinn. Not handled well that time, but Mathis now sends it across. Kenna Campbell with a quick tip that time. Mathis gets there, Parrott pops it up, and Jones sends it across. Kenna Campbell back to Carly Hinn, blocked at the net, but Hinn is there, and then the misfire that time by Shelbourne, 
rolled off the tips of her fingers. Mustangs within one at 24 to 23. They need one more point here and Kenna Campbell is ready to serve it up. Eklund sets it up for Jones in the middle. Dug by Sassy. Kenna Campbell across for Perez. Tip try and Jones is there. Lures in the middle for Shelbourne. Kenna Campbell with the save. Now the Mustangs will have to send the free ball across and that is Ashton Sassy. Eklund sets it up in the middle, tip try, and there's Kenna Campbell. Keeley Campbell sets it up for Carly Hinn. She has to tip it across. Shelburne, it goes back row for Mathis. Kenna Campbell with the off balance set. Hinn with the drive. Good rally here, and that one hit the, the uh, antenna, and it is out of bounds. We are tied at 24. It's a brand new game here. Tied at 21, or tied at 24. Mustangs right back in it. Kenna Campbell with a good serve. Eklund with the set. Shelburne on the attack. Kenna Campbell with a quick tip, but Lurs is there. Shelburne again with the tip. Keeley Campbell across for Perez. Dug by Parrott. Here comes Lurs, sets it up. Back row attack by Mathis. Keeley Campbell pops it up. Perez on the attack, falls in between the back row defenders. Mustangs now with set point at 25 to 24. And the second timeout gonna be called by Valentine here. Mustangs lead at 25-24 late in the first set. Great volleyball action here from the Gordon Rushfield Triangular. Come and see the professional staff at Gordon Vision Center for all of your vision needs. Whether you just need a routine checkup or you're not seeing as well as you used to, they can get you back to 2020 in no time at all at the Gordon Vision Center. Mustangs lead it by one. Set point here as Kenna Campbell gets ready to serve it up. 25 to 24. Parrott with the dig and all the way across on the overpass. They'll set it for Hinn in the middle. Big swing and down for the Mustang winner. Carly Hinn with her fifth kill of the set. Closes it out for the Mustangs. Gut check time for the Mustangs. They trail it by two. They fought off two set points and came back to win the first set, 26 to 24. This is as good as it gets. A 2015 Competition Orange Mustang GT Coupe Premium. This car features a 5.0 liter V8 with 6 speed manual transmission, a 12 speaker shaker pro audio system, ebony leather, voice activated navigation, reverse park assist, and a slew of track features. Come to sides of Milburn Ford in Rushville. Call 327-2472 or visit sidesinmilburnford.com to learn more. Gordon Superfoods is proud to sponsor Gordon Rushville Mustang football. Superfoods is a full-service grocery store that carries anything you might need. Check out the full-service meat department or satisfy your sweet tooth at the Sand Hills Bakery. They have tons of great deals weekly and if you don't have a rewards card, be sure to get one today. Good luck, Mustangs, from Gordon Superfoods. So the Mustangs won the first set 26 to 24. We're ready to get the second set Underway, Valentine will have the serve to start us off. And this is Eklund, dug by Sassy. Kenna Campbell in the middle for Perez. Her attack is long. And Valentine leads it one to zero, early going of the second set. Eklund puts it into play, dug by Friesman. Kenna Campbell sets it up. Carly Hinn has to tip that one over. Not much to work with as now Lurs tries the quick tip and that catches the top of the net. We are tied at one. I'm Clint Anderson along with camera operator Berkeley Haig today bringing you some great shots of today's action. Here's Kenna Campbell sending that one across. Lurs on the attack. Perez with the save. Now Friesman will 
drive that one, but Mathis is there. And that one over and then back across as they're going to now call a lift on Valentine. And the Mustangs now lead it two to one. And that serve by Kenny Campbell is long. We are tied at two. So Parrott out and Allison Robinson in. Chloe Jones to serve. Perez sends it up to Campbell. There's a big swing by Carly Hinn and dug there by Eklund. Mathis now on the back row attack and mishandled by Ashton Sassy that time. And it's now a one point Ballantyne Badger lead at three to two. Friesman with the dig. Kenna Campbell sets it up. Keeley Campbell has to send the free ball across. Eklund with the set. This is Robinson. It falls just behind Perez. And it's a two point lead for the Badgers at four to two. Friesman. A little bit of an overpass there. As Hinn finds the back corner. Oh, and they're going to say it was just long. The uh, line judge couldn't get a good look at it. They'll say that attack was long. It's the biggest lead of the match so far for the Badgers. They lead it 5-2 to two in the second set. Kenna Campbell. Carly Hinn sends that free ball across and nearly got it to drop. Now they'll set it in the middle for Shelburne. Keeley Campbell with the set. Perez with the off-balance attack. Lurs in the middle for Shelburne. Now Perez on the attack. Eklund sets it for the Badgers. Shelburne sends it to the back corner. Keeley Campbell sets it in the middle for Hinn. Both of these teams just a little bit out of sync on that rally as that one sails long. And it's a four point Valentine lead at six to two. Neither team really able to get into a rhythm that time and get any big swings. Josie Perez uh, takes care of that as she gets the tip off the block and the score. Josie Perez with the first kill of the second set for the Mustangs, and they now trail it six to three. Josie Perez will serve. Mathis with the dig, they'll set it up for Robinson. Now the Mustangs go to work. This is Friesman, blocked at the net, and then back out of bounds off of the Mustangs. Seven to three, the Badgers lead it again by four. So Sarah Shelburne back to serve for Valentine. Perez with the dig. Kenneth Campbell into the middle for Hinn. And that one is long. The Mustangs having trouble keeping the attacks in. And Coach Campbell wants to talk this over. Mustangs trail by five at eight to three, early going of the second set. And here's an idea. Keep your car and trade in your loan. Refinancing with Bob Alcorn of State Farm Bank could save you hundreds. Before high car payments get you down, give them an opportunity to help bring them down with great rates and no closing costs or hidden fees. Get to a better state. See Bob at 127 North Main Street in Gordon. And accountant Carol Child is your one-stop resource for all of your accounting and tax needs and a whole lot more. You can give her a call at 282-0842 or you can stop by her office at 216 South Main Street in Gordon. And it pays to have an accountant on your side. Eight to three, Valentine leads it. Early going of the second set, Mustangs with a one set to none lead. That serve was probably long. And the Mustangs will send the free ball across. Valentine goes to work. Eklund with the set, Mathis in the middle. Dug that time by Kenna Campbell, great save. Here's Carly Hinn, and dug out by Shelbourne. They'll set it up for Robinson. That one can't be handled by Josie Perez, and another Valentine point, it's nine to three. So Valentine starting to assert themselves here in the second set with the six point lead. Sassy with the dig. Kenna Campbell sets it up for Friesman. And Friesman hits it. One. Now trail it 10 to 3. 
Let's see if they can right the ship here. Shelburne's serve is short, and that is an ace. Good serve that time by Sarah. She drops the ace in there and extends the Badger lead to 11 to three. Shelburne approaches it. Perez with a dig. Kenna Campbell with a quick dip, trying to catch somebody off guard. Ashton Sassy, there's a quick tip back by Hinn. Lures with the set in the middle for Mathis. Blocked at the net by the Mustangs, but it comes down on the Gordon Rushville side as they didn't close that block quick enough. And it's 12 to three. The lead has grown to nine. Sassy with the pass. Here's Hinn in the middle with a big swing and that's what the Mustangs needed. Carly Hinn gets them off the slide that time, and it's an eight point lead at 12 to four. Shelbourne out, and Taryn Adams now into the game for the Badgers. Carly Hinn to serve for the Mustangs. Good serve by Carly, and they'll have to send the free ball across. Kenna Campbell sets it up. Here is Friesman, and knocks it down. Shania Friesman with her third kill of the match. 12 to five, Mustangs trail it by seven. Mustangs need to make a run here. Carly Hinn sends it across, that's Jones. Across for Mathis and dug out by Perez and that one's not gonna work as it's up into the rafters and back down. 13 to 15, the lead back to eight. And Lurs will serve for the Badgers or 13 to five, excuse me, 13 to five, it's an eight point difference. Lurs just clears the net and it'll be a free ball situation. Here's Eklund in the middle for Mathis with the tip. Kenna Campbell for Keeley Campbell on the swing and long beyond the end line and it's 14 to five. Lurs with the serve. Back to a nine point advantage for Valentine in the second set. Hinn with the dig. Kenna Campbell sets it up in the middle for Sassy. Dug out by Jones. Kenna Campbell pops it up for Friesman. And there's Jones to dig it in the back row. This is Robinson on the attack. Makes it the biggest lead so far at 15 to five. And Josie Perez wanted to set that, got under it a little too much. 16 to five and timeout called by the Mustangs. Wheels have kind of come off for Gordon Rushville in this second set. They trail it by 11. Again, make sure to join us tomorrow night, six o'clock start as the Mustangs take on the Shadron Cardinals. It's homecoming night in Shadron. The six o'clock start, we'll be there to bring all the action to you. Make, make sure you tune in and join us at SheridanCountyJournalStar.net. And then the Mustangs will finish their season a week from tomorrow when they host the Ogallala Indians in the season finale. Second set action, Mustangs with a tall hill to climb here. They trail it 16 to five. Kenna Campbell sets it up, they find Friesman. Good swing by Friesman. Valentine gonna have a hard time here. That one's not gonna get, gonna, not gonna cover the distance. And so the timeout does what it's supposed to do. They break the rhythm. And now the Mustangs trail at 16 to six. Keeley Campbell to serve. And this is an outstanding part of the rotation for the Mustangs if they can take advantage of it here. Eklund sends it over. Kenna Campbell with the quick tip. Jones sends it back on the quick attack. Kenna Campbell sends it to the back corner. Eklund in the middle for Mathis, and that one doesn't clear the net. Mustang point, 16 to seven. Keeley Campbell with the serve. Dug by Mathis, lures with the set. Off the block, and Mustangs go to work. 
tight to the net for Friesman, but Perez is there. Now Carly Hinn sends it across, off the block, it falls in, and the kill for Hinn. 16 to eight, Mustangs on a three point run. Good serve by Keeley Campbell. In the middle for Mathis. Keeley sets that. Now Perez on the attack, but Jones is there. Hinn with the dig. Campbell sets it in the middle for Sassy. And there is Kenna Campbell on the overpass, and that's going to come down on the Badgers' side. And another Mustang point starting to make the run here. They trail it 16 to 9. Another good serve by Keeley Campbell as Friesman is there to block that one down. 16 to 10, Mustangs making the comeback. They trailed by 11, they now trail it by just six. Keeley Campbell serves. Lurs sends it for Eklund, punches it across. Kenna Campbell gets to it and makes a great play to send that one back across. Kenna sets it up for Ashton, but blocked at the net. That was Mathis right there. Knock it back down. And Valentine now leads it 17 to 10. Mustangs trail it by seven. And now they trail by eight, as that serve is long, 21 to 13. Eklund with the serve, Friesman digs it out of there. Jones off the block. Kenna Campbell for Carly Hinn. Eklund is there, here's Jones again. Kenna Campbell sets it for Perez. Big swing and long, 22 to 13. Mustangs with a lot of trouble with unforced errors in this second set. 22 to 13. Eklund's serve drops in there nicely. Kenna Campbell, Jones with the attack for the Badgers. Carly Hinn sends the free ball over. Eklund sets it for Jones. Jones, that attack is long. 22 to 14. And Valentine three points away from closing out this second set. Mustangs lead it one set to none. Kenna Campbell's serve. This is Jones from the right side and knocks that one down for the kill. 23 to 14. Now Chloe Jones will step back to serve for the Badgers. Kenna Campbell sets it up in the middle for Hinn. And now the uh, Lion Judge a little bit confused. I think they gave that, they did say that was in. And that is a kill for Carly Hinn. And 23 to 15, Josie Perez now to serve for the Mustangs. Dug by Mathis. They'll set it up. This is Shelbourne. Keeley Campbell with the set for Friesman. Off the block and down. Good swing by Friesman. 23 to 16. Certainly not over yet, but the Mustangs have a lot of work to do as they trail it by seven. Late in the second set. 
Lures with the set for Robinson. And that one's off Sassy and down to the floor and that'll make it set point now at 24 to 16. And Shelburne back to serve for Valentine. Kenna Campbell sets it up for Hinn, tips it across, but Robinson is there. Back to Robinson on the attack. And that one falls in for the Valentine point. And they take the second set, 25 to 16. So we'll play one more. We'll play the rubber match, a third set, as we are tied up at one set apiece here in the Gordon Rushville Triangular. Gordon Superfoods is proud to sponsor Gordon Rushville Mustang football. Superfoods is a full service grocery store that carries anything you might need. Check out the full service meat department or satisfy your sweet tooth at the Sand Hills Bakery. They have tons of great deals weekly and if you don't have a rewards card, be sure to get one today. Good luck Mustangs from Gordon Superfoods. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Gordon Rushville Triangular, where today's matchups will pit the Gordon Rushville Mustangs against the Valentine Badgers in the first match. Then the Valentine Badgers will take on the Alliance Bulldogs in the second match, and then the nightcap will be the Mustangs and the Alliance Bulldogs. Thanks for. It's going to snow this winter, and you need a reliable four-wheel drive outfit. Be prepared with this 2015 F-150 Super Crew from Sides and Melbourne Ford in Rushville. It's loaded with features and comes with stowable loading ramps to make loading your ATV or snowmobile a breeze. You can find this and other vehicles to fill your needs at Sides and Melbourne Ford in Rushville. So we head to the third set, tied at one set apiece. Mustangs will have the serve to get us started. On the floor for the Mustangs, Hinn, Kenna Campbell, Josie Perez, Shania Friesman, Ashton Sassy, and Keeley Campbell. For the Badgers, it's Lurs, Shelbourne, Jones, Eklund, Parrott, and Mathis. And now they'll say that uh, the serve is Valentine's, and this is Eklund. And she just barely clears the net. Josie Prez comes up and sets it for him with a big swing. And there's another one. That's Kenna Campbell. Mustangs need to send this one across. Kenna Campbell with a heads up play. Lurs sets it up for Jones off the block. Kenny Campbell sets it for Perez. That attack is long. Valentine leads it early going, one to zero. The Mustangs came out swinging that time as they didn't get a lot of quality swings in that second set. Perez sets it up for Hinn. Nearly got that one to drop in front of Parrott. Here's Jones on the attack and that one is wide. We are tied at one. So Kenna Campbell will serve for the Mustangs. And Kenna hits that one into the net. Two to one, Valentine leads it. Chloe Jones to serve for the Badgers. Now Robinson in and Parrott out. That one caught a rafter, but Kenna Campbell did a good job to get to it. Eklund pops it up for Robinson with the tip. In the middle for Hinn, big swing off of Eklund and down. Carly Hinn with kill number eight on the night. We are tied at two. Josie Perez will serve for the Mustangs. A 
Immediately following this game, it will be Valentine and Alliance. Lures to Robinson, gets it down in front of the block of Hinn and Keeley Campbell. Valentine back in front, three to two. And Shelburne now to serve. Shelburne with that long serving action, starts clear back of the back line, turns, marches forward and puts it into play. Campbell sets it up for Friesman. Shelburne didn't handle that one cleanly. And Mathis sends the free ball over. Carly Hinn in the middle, but that one is long. And it's 4-2 to two Valentine. So Mustangs are getting some swings here. Just haven't capitalized yet. So Shelburne again on the serve. Campbell sets it up for Friesman. Friesman there with the block and knocks it down. Four to three. Mustangs trail it by one. And Carly Hinn ready to serve for the Mustangs. Now Shelbourne out. And that is Taryn Adams into the back row. Lures across and off the block is Mathis. Tooled the block nicely. And it's another Valentine point. It's five to three. Lures with the serve. Now Perez will attack it out of the back row. Lures sets it up for Robinson and she air mailed that one beyond the end line. And back to a one point game at five to four. Keeley Campbell to serve. Blocked at the net by the Mustangs. Big block that time by Ashton Sassy. Knocked that one back. And it's a one point game again. Or excuse me, we are tied. Tied at five. The Mustangs have evened it up here. Keeley Campbell with the serve. And that one is just long. Just beyond the end line. Six to five. Valentine. Now Parrott comes in and Robinson goes out. So Parrott will serve. Not sure we've seen her serve here today. She'll give it a whirl here. Kenna Campbell sets it up for Friesman. Straight, straight down. Big swing by Shania Friesman. Well placed that time by Kenna Campbell right where she wanted it. She caught it right in the middle of her wheelhouse and knocked it to the floor. Tied at six. Friesman with the serve now. They'll set it for or Sassy out of the middle. Parrott can't handle it. They give Ashton Sassy the kill, the third kill of the set for the Mustangs, and now they lead this third set for the first time at 7-6. to six. First time they've led since the first set. Mathis bumps it up, and here's Eklund. But it's blocked at the net by the Mustangs. And now Gordon Rushville with the two-point lead, 8-6. to six. Well, Friesman with that jump serve. That is off of Mathis. And now, I'm not sure they, they, they played that off of the basketball hoop that's been uh, rolled up to the top. Here come the Mustangs. This is Carly Hinn out of the back row. Eklund with the set. Mathis, but that's dug out nicely by Keeley Campbell. Perez with the attack. Now see, now the Libero into the game for Valentine. There's Jones on the set, but that or on the attack, but that one is well beyond the end line. And another Mustang point. So the Libero now into the game is Marisa Hutchinson wearing that red jersey. And the Mustangs lead it by three at nine to six. That is Hutchinson receiving that serve. Now Eklund sends it across. Perez with the free ball. Lures with the set. Mathis. Now they'll set it for Perez. Off the block, Lures is there. Jones on the quick attack. 
off of Keeley Campbell. And it's a Badger point. It's nine to seven Mustangs. Shelburne in and Adams out now. And Mathis back to serve. Two point Mustang lead, third set. Kenna Campbell tried that quick tip. She was backing up and didn't quite get enough on it. It's nine to eight. Kenna Campbell sets it in the middle for Sassy. Little sink that time. We are tied at nine. So tied. Perez comes through, gets her fourth kill of the evening, and it's back to a one-point Mustang lead, ten to nine. Set it in the middle for Jones. And Carly Hinn sends it all the way up here to us. We couldn't quite get that one to go across. We are tied at 10. So Eklund with the serve. Been tight the whole way in this third set. Campbell across for Hinn. Big swing. And here's Jones on the tip try. Kenna Campbell has to slap that backhanded, and it works. Kenna Campbell didn't have any chance at that, but she's able to backhand it. And makes the sharp angle shot. Mustangs back ahead by one, 11 to 10, and now Kenna Campbell will serve. Eklund. Now this is Hutchinson on the attack. Here's Hinn in the middle, but she has to tip it. They'll set it up for Perez. That one's blocked. The Mustangs will have to free this one over. And it falls in. Shania Friesman will take it. Sent the free ball over, and it found an open space on the Badger side of the floor. Mustangs lead it by two at 12 to 10. Eklund sets it for Lurs, but Friesman is there. They'll set it up for Perez, knocks it down to the floor. Josie Perez with another one. She's starting to heat up. That's her fifth kill of the night. Mustangs lead it 13 to 10, and a timeout on the floor called by the Badgers. And folks, if you're looking for something to do on Saturday, head on over to the Rushville Rancher Roundup. It starts at 10 o'clock and runs until 4. You'll find all kinds of good eats and lots of things to do. There will be a farmer's market set up. Uh, usually they've got uh, uh, pie contests, salsa contests. I'm not sure what all they have on the uh, agenda for this year, but they'll have cattle all up and down Main Street, live uh, livestock exhibits as they'll get those panels put up early Saturday morning. So come on over to Rushville and check out the Rushville Rancher Roundup. Starts at 10 o'clock Saturday morning. There's certainly something for everyone. Mustangs lead it by three, 13 to 10 in the third set. Good serve that time by Kenna Campbell. And now here's Lurs on the attack. That one comes all the way across. Keeley Campbell sets it up in the middle for Hinn. Hinn. Good swing, but there's Hutchinson. Jones on the attack. Campbell sets it up for Perez. Good swing and down. Josie Perez starting to find the range. She's got three kills in this third set, and it's a four-point Mustang lead, 14 to 10. Kenna Campbell with the serve. That one is on the line for the ace. Kenna's second ace of the day. Mustangs lead it 15 to 10. Shelbourne out and Adams into the back row. Had to wait for that ball to be retrieved. And now it's headed back towards Kenna Campbell. Mustangs with the five point lead in the third set. 
Dug by Mathis. They'll set it up for Jones from the right side, but blocked by Perez. Keeley Campbell pops it up. Friesman sends it across. Now Perez from that left side, blocked at the net. Eklund behind the back to Lurs, and the Mustangs caught in between. Back to a four-point game at 15 to 11. Chloe Jones to serve for the Badgers. Mustangs by four. Parrot out, Robinson in. They'll set it in the middle for Hinn. Big swing and down off the block that time of Adams. Hinn gets the kill. 16 to 11, Josie Perez with the serve. Just clears the net. Kenna Campbell pops it up. Keeley Campbell sends the free ball across. Eklund for Robinson, but Sassy is there. Out of the rafters, bad bounce. And the Badgers will pick one up there. Four point game, 16 to 12. Mustangs were set up well there, but it took a nasty bounce coming out of the rafters. And nobody able to get to it. So here is Taryn Adams with the serve this time. And that one was, couldn't have been teed up any better for Lurs that time. And it's 16 to 13. Mustang's not ready at all for that attack by Lurs on the bad serve receive. In the middle for Hinn. Dug out by Jones. Now Robinson. Here's Friesman with the big swing. Ek <laughs> Eklund wanted nothing to do with that ball. It was headed right at her nose. She ducked and got out of the way wisely for her, I think. Back to a four-point Mustang lead, 17 to 13. Carly Hinn will serve for Gordon Rushville. Robinson with the set. Mathis on the attack. Out of the middle, that is Sassy. Now here's Mathis. Quickly back to Friesman, and she finds the floor with that one. Shania Friesman with the kill, and it's a five-point Mustang lead, 18 to 13. Carly Hinn to serve. Eklund sends it across, and now the Mustangs go to work. Here's Friesman, and Friesman gets another kill. Friesman now starting to heat up. She's got four kills in the third set, and a timeout called by Valentine as the Mustangs now lead it 19-13. to It's a six-point Mustang lead, working our way towards the tail end of this third set, tied at one set apiece. Say thanks to sponsors of today's volleyball action. The First National Bank of Gordon, Husker Auto Parts, Strong Insurance, Gordon True Value, Bank of the West, Hens Home Furnishings, the Gordon Vision Center, Bob Alcorn State Farm Insurance, Accountant Carol Child, Modern Farm Equipment, Gordon Superfoods, Sides in Milburn Ford of Rushville, and of course, the Sheridan County Journal Star, your source for all the news that is news in Sheridan County. 19 to 13, Mustangs lead it by six, late in the third set, Carly Hinn serving for the Mustangs. Jones on the back row attack, overpass that time and knocked down by Mathis. A well, five point game, and Lurs back to serve. 19 to 14. They'll set it for Friesman. Off the block and down. Lurs never had a chance. Came through the block. She was there, but couldn't do anything with it. Another kill for Shania Friesman. That's her fifth in the third set, and it's now 20 to 14. Mustangs inching ever closer. Keeley Campbell with the serve. Down that left side. Out of the back row comes Adams. 
In the middle for Sassy off the block. Now Jones out of the back row, blocked by the Mustangs at the net. Friesman on the attack, and that one is just long. She wound up and gave that one a ride, but it's just beyond the end line, 20 to 15. Allison Robinson will serve for the Badgers. Overpass by Keeley Campbell, but no harm done. There's a joust at the net, but Mathis wins that one and knocks it down 20 to 16. The lead has been cut to four. So Robinson with the serve, and she puts it in the net. 21 to 16, the scoreboard operator put that point up for Valentine. They'll get that fixed, should be 21 to 16. And Shania Friesman with the serve. Lures across to Mathis, her swing goes wide, and it's a point 22 to 17. Trying to close. Twenty-five, eighteen. The Mustangs win the first one. So for those of you from Valentine who've tuned in, we're glad to have you along with us. Those of you tuning in from Alliance will have the Valentine Alliance game as it will come up next. And we'll bring that to you here. So the Mustangs win the first one in the triangular. Two sets to one. Final scores, 26-24, 16-25, and 25 to 18. We'll step aside, we'll regroup, and we'll be back with some pregame information for you between the Valentine Badgers and the Alliance Bulldogs here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Va Volleyball 2015. The way we see it, if you're going to call something smart, it better help you get real work done. Help you grow food, feed, and energy independence. Help you get the most with the latest precision farming technology while doing the job right and on time. From combines to tractors to hay tools, visit your New Holland dealer today to see equipment built New Holland Smart. Visit your authorized dealer today. New Holland. The Honda Accord EX. This 2008 sedan has a V6 engine, automatic transmission, and a leather interior. Sides of Milburn offer a world-class detailer, a professional service department, and now do consignments. Stop by Sides of Milburn Ford to see this car and many more. Gordon Superfoods is proud to sponsor Gordon Rushville Mustang football. Superfoods is a full-service grocery store that carries anything you might need. Check out the full-service meat department or satisfy your sweet tooth at the Sand Hills Bakery. They have tons of great deals weekly, and if you don't have a rewards card, be sure to get one today. Good luck, Mustangs, from Gordon Superfoods. So the Gordon Rushville Mustangs take care of business in the first match of today's triangular as they knock off the Valentine Badgers two sets to one. We're now anticipating the start of the Alliance Bulldogs and the Valentine Badgers. We'll have that action for you here. They haven't started the pregame clock, which is a 16-minute clock. So we're at least 16 minutes away from the start of the second match of the triangular. Uh, glad to have you along with us. We will 
mute the sound just so we don't pick up anything that we shouldn't. And we'll step aside, do some pregame preparation as we get ready for Valentine and Alliance in the second game of the Gordon Rushville Triangular. Glad to have you along with us this afternoon. And ready for the second set in a little over 16 minutes.
Welcome back as we get ready for the second match of today's triangular. And this one features the Alliance Bulldogs and the Valentine Badgers. Eight and a half minutes before the opening serve of this second match. Let's take a look at these two teams. The Valentine Badgers, who we just saw in the first match as they lost to the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. Their record on the season now stands at 6-14. and 14. The starters for the Badgers in this second match will be number one, Marisa Hutchinson. She is the libero. Number two, Nicole Lurs. Number three, Matea Eklund. Number four, Chloe Jones. Number eight, Sarah Shelbourne. Number 10, Anna Parrott. And number 13, Macy Mathis. Forgot to circle her on the lineup card. Macy Mathis, certainly one that your person cannot forget about as she was all over the court in that first match. For the Alliance Bulldogs, they come into today's action with a season record of nine wins and 14 losses. The starters today for the Bulldogs will be number one, Maggie Otto. And I believe she is the libero. Number nine is Emerson Siza. Number 13 is Cami Felker. Number 15, Madison Heemstra. Number 16, Madison Ryber. Number 22 is Kayla Tridel. And number 31 is Riley Rolls. So seven minutes to go before the start of today's second match between Alliance and Valentine. Bonus action here, and glad to have everybody on board that is watching from out of town. Hope that you enjoy our coverage here on SheridanCountyJournalStar.net. We've got a good handful of viewers on here at the moment. Glad to see that. Certainly glad to have all of you along with us here this afternoon from Gordon. So five minutes left to go here. We're trying to get our Twitter message feed up for all of you who are out of town. We'll give you a look at what that looks like. If we can get everything to work here, we'll get an example up and uh, give you a look at that before we get things going.
All right, for so, so for those of you who uh, are unfamiliar, uh, fire off, let's get this up and going here. If you are uh, a Twitter user, fire off a tweet that includes the handle at SC Journal Star, and our server will pick that up and we'll air those tweets when we have a chance in between some of this volleyball action. And this is what it will look like. So let us know. We'd really like to know where you're watching from and who you're cheering for. If you're a Valentine or Alliance supporter, give us a shout on Twitter. If you're a Twitter user, just include at SC Journal Star. And we'll pick that up and we'll air those tweets as we get a chance as we go through today's broadcast. So at SC Journal Star, give it a whirl and let us know where you're watching from and who you're watching with, who you're cheering for as well. As we get closer to today's second match, just two and a half minutes away now between Alliance and Valentine. I am Clint Anderson along with camera operator, the young and talented Berkeley Haig. We're ready to bring some great video footage to you and hopefully some great volleyball action as well as Alliance and Valentine get ready to square off here in the second match of the Gordon Rushville Triangular. If you missed it earlier, the Gordon Rushville Mustangs defeated the Valentine Badgers in the first match, two sets to one. And now we are ready to move on to the second match of the day. And for those of you watching at home that aren't familiar with our uh, broadcast, these broadcasts are available to go back and watch anytime uh, on our website. You can find a link there. So anybody who's unable to watch today's game but wants to go back and watch it at a later time, they're certainly welcome to do that. Just go to SheridanCountyJournalStar.net and you can find the link and you can watch as many times as you want. So let's take one more look at the starters for these two clubs. Valentine comes in at six and four. Starters here, the libero is number one, she's Marisa Hutchinson. Number two is Nicole Lurz. Number three is Matea Eklund. Number four, Chloe Jones. Number eight, Sarah Shelbourne. Number 10, Anna Parrott. And number 13, Macy Mathis. For the Alliance Bulldogs today, I believe Maggie Otto is the libero, number one. Number nine is Emerson Siza. Number 13, Cami Felker. Number 15, Madison Heemstra. Number 16, Madison Ryber. Number 22 is Kayla Tridel. And number 31, Riley Rolls. Several Alliance St. Agnes products on the floor for the Alliance High Bulldogs as we get ready to start the second match of today's action. Teams are just about ready to take the floor. And we're ready to get things underway. And we'll turn it over to the public address announcer for the introductions of the starting lineups.
there are the starting lineups for these two teams ready to take the floor. Lurs, Eklund, Jones, Shelbourne, Parrott, and Mathis on the floor for the Badgers. And for the Bulldogs, it will be Siza, Felker, Heemstra, Ryber, Tritle, and Rolls with Maggie Otto as the libero. Well, Valentine at 6 and 14, Alliance at 9 and 14. And right off the bat, Tridal comes out and Maggie Otto, the libero, into the middle of the back row to get things started here. Valentine will have the serve to get things started. And this is Matea Eklund to serve it up for the Badgers. And we are underway. Otto digs it. He'll set it up for Ryber. She slams it down. It's touched by one of the Badgers. And a quick point for the Alliance Bulldogs. Madison Heemstra back to serve for Alliance. Eklund sets it up for Jones. Tip try blocked at the net by the Bulldogs. Blocked again by the Bulldogs. That is Ryber playing big at the net. Knocks that block down. And it's 2-0 Alliance. So Alliance has had a rough go of it. Of course, they play in Class B and face some pretty tough competition there. As this is Lurs on the attack. And they'll set that up. And that is Emerson Siza on the attack and the kill for Siza. It's a 3-0 Alliance lead. Alliance wasting no time jumping out to the quick lead in this first set. Heemstra with the serve, drops that one in, fielded by Parrott. Jones on the attack. Heemstra sets it up for Ryber. Jones sends the free ball across. Siza again with a big swing off Jones and another Bulldog point. They lead it 4-0. So number nine, Emerson Siza with the big swing that time. And now some miscommunication by the Badgers, but they're able to get it across. Ryber sets it up for Siza. Here's Jones, but blocked at the net by Alliance. And that is Ryber and Siza up there together making it very, very difficult for Valentine to get any offense going. It's now a 5-0 Alliance lead. Lures on the attack. That's rolls on the attack that time for Alliance. Now here's Jones blocked again at the net, and this one's going to fall outside the field of play. Alliance with the 6-0 lead. And that big block at the net is really making life tough for the Badgers. Lurs can't get that one across. It's in the net and down on the Badgers' side. So now quickly Robeson will check into the game in place of Jones. Grace Robeson into the front row. Eklund sets it up for Robeson. Over the top of the block. Siza with the set. And that one is hit long by Riley Rolls that time. And so the Valentine Badgers finally on the scoreboard. It's seven to one. So seven to one Alliance. And Grace Robeson back to serve for Valentine. High serve by Robeson. Otto sends it up. Here's Siza on the attack. The big swing straight down to the floor and another kill for Emerson Siza. She's off to a quick start and it's eight to one. Alliance with the lead. Now this is Madison Ryber back to serve. Quick set this time for Robeson, but Heemstra is there. 
Here's Rolls on the sharp angle attack. And now Allison Robinson into the game for Valentine. Valentine with another point. And now Sarah Shelbourne back to serve for the Badgers. It's 8-2. to two. Early going of the first set. And that serve is well beyond the end line by Shelbourne. 9-2 to Alliance. Now Shelbourne out and Adams in to take her place in the back row. And Rolls now back to serve for the Bulldogs. They'll set it up for Mathis. She finds the open spot on the floor and knocks that one down for the kill. Now Rolls comes out and into the game comes Elizabeth Rivera, number eight, into the back row for the Bulldogs. Nine to three. Alliance leads it by six. Otto with the dig. And that is... Uh, Cammie Felker on the attack that time, and another Bulldog point. And now another Valentine substitution as Eklund is going to come out, and Brandy Denayer in for Valentine. Well, Valentine trying to get a little more size in that front row, and there's an ace serve off the foot of Adams. As Siza picks up the ace, it's 11 to 3. Free ball sent over by Lurs. Heemstra sets it up. Felker on the attack, and that one a little bit too long. And another Valentine point makes it 11 to 4. Allison Robinson back to serve for Valentine. Not fielded well that time by Otto, but uh, the Bulldogs get it across. And there's a nice tip try that time by Mathis. And then Alliance able to just catch the top of the net. It falls on the Valentine side for another Bulldog point. It's 12 to 4. And Maggie Otto to serve for the Bulldogs. High short serve by Otto. Lurs goes down and sets it up. The attack that time by Denayer he is long. And it's now 13 to 4. The Bulldogs have opened up a nine-point lead. They'll set it up for Robeson. And here's Felker. That's blocked at the net that time by Mathis. And so the Badgers showing that that blocking game can go both ways. There's now Adams out and Shelburne back in to play the front row. Mathis back to serve. Otto with the dig. They'll set it up for Ryber. Ryber with the nice little tip over the blockers. And in front of the other defenders for another alliance point. Now Rivera out and rolls back in for the Bulldogs. They now lead it 14 to 5. Well, this will be Felker back to serve. Cammy Felker finds the back line with that one. That's an ace serve for Felker. And it's a 10-point advantage for the Bulldogs at 15 to 5. Now Parrott will come in and she'll take the place of Robinson in the back row. This is Robeson on the attack. That's kind of confusing. There's a Robeson and a Robinson both for Valentine. And there's Rolls reaching out and slapping that one across and knocking it down for the point. 16 to 5 Alliance. Robeson again on the attack out of the middle. Let's set it up for Rolls high over the blockers. Now here's Robeson off the block and down. Just caught the top of the block that time and into the hole in the middle. So now Denaire comes out, and Eklund back in to serve. Sixteen to six. 
He'll set it up for Rolls. Good swing and puts that one to the floor. 17 to six. And now Maddie Heemstra back to serve for the Bulldogs. And they now lead it by 11. Two Badgers fight for it. Now Robeson sends the free ball over into the deep corner. Bulldogs can't play that one out of the net. A Valentine picks one up, cuts the lead to 17 to seven. And Robeson now back to serve for Valentine. We didn't see a lot of Robeson in the first match against the Mustangs. She's getting a lot of action here in the second. Siza goes up high and attack that one. Now Shelburne has it blocked at the net. And it'll be four hits on, actually, they're going to say two hits on somebody, one of the Badgers down there trying to get that one up off the floor. 18 to 7. It's another Alliance point. Now Shelburne out and Adams in to play the front row. And Ryber now back to serve for the Bulldogs. Adams on the attack, high over the block, but dug out by Ryber. Here's Siza from the right side, off the block, and dug by the Badgers. Out of the back row, it's Mathis, but Heemstra is there. Now they'll set it up. This is Parrott. Parrott doesn't usually get to play in that front row. She mishits that one into the net, and it's 19-7. to seven. So the Badgers mixing things up quite a bit from what they did in the first match of the day. Rivers serve, dug by Mathis. Here's Adams on the attack, over the blocker and finds the back corner for a Badger point. It's 19 to eight. So now Adams back to serve. She takes somewhere in a hurry and it's another Alliance Bulldog. So Rolls back to serve for the Bulldogs. Firmly in command in this. Adams on the and now Siza back. for the Badgers. 22 to 10, Siza with the serve, and that is an ace for Emerson Siza. 23 to 10. The Alliance Bulldogs looking good in this first set. Good serve by Siza, the overpass, and that is knocked down in a hurry by Tritle. 24 to 10, and this will be set point for the Bulldogs. As the Alliance the faithful across the way start to show their support, and that serve is long beyond the end line by Siza, 24 to 11. So now Parrott will step back to serve. Siza digs it. Heemstra with a quick tip. She hasn't done that much. And then slapped right back across by the Badgers. Here's Ferreter on the attack. Parrott can't handle it. And Alliance takes the first set 25 to 11. Will head to the second. Alliance has a one set to none lead here in the second match of the Gordon Rushville Triangular. When it comes to your land, it pays to be smart. At New Holland, smart means giving you a wide range of options to fit your needs. 
like smooth cutting, plug-free conditioning, and versatility. Smart means putting more hay in the bale and leaving less in the field. It also means providing exceptional after-sale support and growing a legacy that goes far beyond equipment. That's New Holland Smart. Visit your local New Holland dealer today. This is as good as it gets, a 2015 Competition Orange Mustang GT Coupe Premium. This car features a 5.0 liter V8 with 6-speed manual transmission, a 12-speaker Shaker Pro Audio System, ebony leather, voice-activated navigation, reverse park assist, and a slew of track features. Come to sides of Milburn Ford in Rushville, call 327-2472 or visit sidesinmilburnford.com to learn more. Gordon Superfoods is proud to sponsor Gordon Rushville Mustang football. Superfoods is a full-service grocery store that carries anything you might need. Check out the full-service meat department or satisfy your sweet tooth at the Sand Hills Bakery. They have tons of great deals weekly, and if you don't have a rewards card, be sure to get one today. Good luck, Mustangs, from Gordon Superfoods. Just about ready to get the second set underway. Alliance leads it one set to none. After the 25-11 victory in the first set. On the floor for the Bulldogs to start this second set. Emerson Siza. Madison Riber. Let's see, Molly Oligmuller into the game for Alliance to start this second set. Cami Felker. Riley Rolls. And Maddie Heemstra for the Badgers. It is Shelburne, Jones, Eklund, Lurs, Parrott, and Mathis. In the middle for Jones, high over the block. Uh, here on the attack, that is Oleg Mueller. Now Jones back the other way. We'll set it up for Jones again, off the block. Heemstra sets it for Siza. Dug out of there nicely by Mathis. Heemstra pops this one up. Siza again off the block and out of bounds. Siza tools the block nicely that time. And Alliance, after the long rally to get things started, leads it 1-0. Alliance never trailed in the first set. They took control early and the win. That time in the middle. And that is Felker on the attack, but it is long. And it's two to one. Eklund now to serve for Valentine. Attack by Jones won't go. And then Rolls knocks that one down for an alliance point, and we are tied at three. Lurs on the attack, finds an opening. And Valentine back out ahead. They lead it four to three. Now Parrott comes out and Allison Robinson into the game for Valentine. Valentine by one, Chloe Jones with the serve. Ryber sets it for size of it, tight to the net, knocked back across by Shelbourne. Now they'll set it up for Robinson. 
Partially blocked by Siza. Now Oleg Mueller on the attack and the kill. So Molly Oleg Mueller getting into the act here. And we are tied at four. Had the opportunity to renew some old acquaintances with some Alliance folks. Molly's mother, one of those before tonight's game. There's a big block in the middle by Rolls. And Alliance now leads it by one at five to four. That serve is well beyond the end line. We're tied at five. So Shelbourne out and Adams in for Valentine. Rivera comes in to replace Oleg Mueller in the Alliance lineup. And Adams will step back to serve for the Valentine Badgers. Tied at five in the second set. Siza sets it up for Rolls. And that one is going to be returned out of bounds. And a point for the Bulldogs. They lead it six to five. Emerson Siza back to serve. Into the net that time by Siza. Tied at six. Now Brandy Denaire back into the game. She replaces Eklund in the front row. Lurs with the serve. This will be Felker on the attack this time. Nice. But the Bulldog. And then Heemstra catches the tape and comes down on the Bulldog side of the floor. Seven. time. Heemstra sets it up for Felker. Now across to Robinson. Her drive dug out nicely by Otto. Siza on the attack but into the block and the Badgers can't return it. Tied at seven. So now Rolls comes out of the game. Maggie Otto the libero comes in to serve. Set it up for Robinson, off the block, and out of bounds, Point Badgers. Eight to seven, Valentine. Back and forth action. Much more competitive set than what we had in the first one. Otto with the dig. Heemstra sets it up for Ryber, and Ryber airmails that one beyond the end line. It's now a two-point advantage for Valentine at nine to seven. So Alliance, after cruising to the first set victory, maybe let up just a little bit as we get started here in the second. There's a big swing by Ryber. Now Ryber will send the free ball across. Jones through the block and down. She had to hurry to get to that. It wasn't right where she was expecting it to be, but she was able to get it around the block and down to the floor. It's a three-point Valentine lead at 10 to seven, pair it in and Robinson out. And now we've got a, I think a rotation question here. As Valentine looking a little bit confused. Robinson and Parrott traded places. So Alliance leads this one set to none, but they trail here in the second set, 10 to seven. And Valentine struggled mightily with the big block of the Alliance Bulldogs early on in that first set since that time. And they've worked to try and tip it over the top as opposed to trying to drive it through those blockers most of the time. There've been some exceptions. Now we've got it all lined out. Parrott will indeed step back to serve for Valentine. And Valentine holds the three-point lead at 10 to seven. Lineup check is done. 
And we are ready for volleyball action to resume. Parrott lines it up and sends it across. Heemstra sets it up. And that one is blocked right back across by the Badgers. Cami Felker on the attack that time, but rejected roundly by the Badgers. 11-7, Ballantyne by four. Siza with the dig, Heemstra with the quick tip. Now they'll set it for Jones. And that one is out of bounds, didn't catch a blocker. And Alliance picks up the point. Now Felker back to serve. Valentine leads at 11 to eight. Lurs sets it up for Jones. Heemster with the quick tip. And now back the other way by the Badgers, another quick tip. That was Ryber in the middle, but that's rejected. And now the free ball not quite sent across by Maggie Otto. She caught, got caught in between and puts that one into the net. And now a new server comes into the game for the Badgers as Mathis and Adams head to the bench. This will be Kennedy Ingalls seeing her first action of the day. She's come in to serve for the Badgers and she puts that one into the net. Not at all what she was hoping for. And it's a three point Badger lead. So now Ingalls will quickly come right back out of the game as Mathis back in to replace her. So Maddie Heemstra back to serve for the Bulldogs. Mathis with the dig across to Shelburne. Shelburne off balance attack that time and can't get it across. Alliance has cut the lead to two, 12 to 10. Parrott doesn't handle that one cleanly, but the Badgers are able to get it across. They'll set it for Siza. Big swing, finds the corner. Another kill for Emerson Siza. Bulldogs back within one at 12 to 11. And there's an ace serve by Maddie Heemstra. Lurs couldn't handle it, and we are tied at 12. Maddie Heemstra has served three in a row here. Now this will be set up in the middle for Jones, blocked right back across by Ryber. Siza sets it up, and that one is Knocked down by Ryber. And Alliance now with a one point lead. Nice little run here by the Bulldogs. As we approach the midway point of the first, or the second set, excuse me. Jones on the attack, high over the blockers and over everything as well as the end line. 14 to 12, Alliance leads it by two. And a timeout called on the floor by Valentine. Second set action here from the Gordon Rushville Triangular. It is Alliance 14 and Valentine 12. The Honda Accord EX. This 2008 sedan has a V6 engine, automatic transmission, and a leather interior. Sides of Milburn offer a world-class detailer, a professional service department, and now do consignments. Stop by Sides and Milburn Ford to see this car and many more. Some of you may be experiencing a little bit of buffering as we go uh, through the game here today. You see our internet connection is up and down on this end just a little bit, but bear with us. Uh, we'll keep that going as well as we can. Second set action, Alliance leads at one set to none. They lead this set 14 to 12. Madison Ryber puts it into play. 
They'll set it for Shelburne, blocked at the net by Siza. Makes it 15 to 12, Alliance. So Brandy Denaire getting some extended playing time for the Badgers. And there's a big block at the net by Madison Ryber. A no doubter there, the solo block, and she knocks it down for another Bulldog point at 16 to 12. Madison Ryber, or uh, excuse me, Heemstra has served a whole string of points here. Maggie Otto goes back to the back line to retrieve that one. Here's Oleg Mueller on the attack and the kill. When Heemster started serving, I think the Bulldogs were down three. They now lead it 17 to 12. Denaire goes and gets it. And then finding the open hole in the floor is Macy Mathis. And Valentine finally breaks the string. As now Denaire comes out and the libero, Marisa Hutchinson into the game for the Badgers. Eklund with the serve. will set it up for Ryber. And she puts that one away. It's 18 to 13. So Alliance has some big hitters here and now into the game is going to be Kaylin Bauer, number 25. She comes into the game for Oleg Mueller. Maddie Ryber back to serve now. They'll set it for Lurz from the left side over the block. Heemstra sets it up, rolls with the attack but dug out nicely by the Badgers. Siza from the right side, quickly down to the floor that time, 19 to 13. It is a six point lead and now into the game. Comes number 21 and unfortunately we do not have a 21 on our program. So we're not really sure who 21 is here. But Alliance starting to use some substitutes as they lead it 19 to 13. That one's out of the Raptors and back down on the Alliance side, 19 to 14. The Badgers get another one back. So Jones with the serve, dug by Otto in the net for Siza and look out. She had all of that one, but it's well beyond the end line. 19 to 15, the Badgers hanging around. They're only down four. And that one on the overpass is knocked down handily by Shelbourne. And the Badgers down three at 19 to 16. They send that across and Valentine goes to work. Here's Shelbourne with the quick attack. Felker sends it back across to the Badgers. Robinson on the attack that time, but is rejected by the big Alliance block in its 20 to 16. Alliance leads it by four. And now Kalen Bauer back to serve for the Bulldogs. We'll have to do some research and find out who 21 is between games as there's an attack by Felker, knocking that one down. It's 21 to 16, a five point lead by the Bulldogs. And Jones doesn't handle that serve cleanly. It's an ace for Bauer and 22 to 16 in favor of the Bulldogs. Hutchinson in and Jones out. That serve is long by Bauer, 22 to 17. Evans comes in to replace Shelbourne, and Evans will, or Adams, excuse me, Adams comes in to replace Shelbourne, and now she'll serve. Otto digs it, new setter in the game now. 
Big swing that time um, by Rolls. Keep getting lots of substitutes here for the Bulldogs. Liz Johnston in to serve now. Ryber back into the game. And now McKenna Romick comes in and she'll take the place of Ryber. So McKenna Romick into the back row for Alliance. The overpass and Riley Rolls knocks that one down in a hurry, 24 to 17. And this will be match point. As Liz Johnson steps back to serve for the match for Alliance. Send it across and that attack by Mathis will just barely make it back and Mathis taps it right back to the Alliance Bulldogs side. Here's Adams sending it across. And then Felker puts that one into the net. Eklund out. And Denaire back in to that front row, 24 to 18. Another match point for the Bulldogs. That one falls to the floor for another Bulldog point, and it's 24 to 19. Lurs with the serve for the Badgers. Felker gets that one across. And Mathis has her shot blocked at the net, and that will close it out as Riley rolls with the big block. And Alliance takes the second set, 25 to 19. Much more competitive set than the first, but Alliance takes it in two straight sets. Final scores of 25-11 and 25-19. So for all of you Valentine viewers, thanks very much for joining us. Glad to have you along with us. And we look forward to having you back over here on another broadcast in the not so distant future. Just a few minutes away now, we'll have another 16 minute warm up period before the Alliance Bulldogs will take on the Gordon Rushville Mustangs in the nightcap. We'll have a little bit of a break here before they start that 16 minute warm up clock. We'll step aside and get ready to bring you pregame action between the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the Alliance Bulldogs here on Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Volleyball 2015.
So nine minutes and 10 seconds left to go before the opening serve of the third and final match of the day between the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the Alliance Bulldogs. The Gordon Rushville Mustangs started off the day here this afternoon by dispatching the Valentine Badgers in three sets, 26-24, 16-25, and 25-18. Alliance then did the same. They closed out the Badgers in two straight sets, 25-11 and 25-19. And the final match of the day here between the Mustangs and the Bulldogs. Alliance has the season record now. Mustangs at one note to pass along to those of you watching the last uh, match between Alliance and Valentine. Uh, the program that we had was incorrect. And so number 18, who we were calling Molly Oligmuller through that whole game, number 18 is actually Danny Carter. Our uh, apologies to Danny Carter for not giving her uh, recognition that she certainly deserves. So Danny Carter is number 18. Molly Oligmuller is number 21. And both of those players in the game. Uh, Molly Oligmuller in towards the tail end of that second set. Danny Carter off and on throughout. So that is the, the note that we need to pass along. Starters for the Alliance Bulldogs. In this third set, the libero is number one, Maggie Otto. Number nine is Emerson Siza. Number 13 is Cami Felker. Number 15, Madison Heemstra. Number 16, Madison Ryber. Number 22 is Kayla Tridel. And number th 31 is Riley Rolls. For the Mustangs, the same lineup as always. Number one is Shania Friesman. Number two, Carly Hinn. Number three is Ashton Sassy. Number four is Kenna Campbell. Number 11 is Josie Perez. And number 17 is Keeley Campbell. Just under seven minutes to go before the start of this third match of the day. Both of these teams defeating the Valentine Badgers earlier this afternoon. But one of these teams will go home 2 0. The other one. One and one. Thanks very much for joining us here this afternoon. Let's take a look at the rest of the Mustangs schedule. Mustangs after this afternoon's game get ready for the big Saturday tournament all the way down in Utica. That's all the way on the other side of York. For those of you who aren't familiar with that particular part of Nebraska geography, they'll face some outstanding there they'll get a look at some different styles that they hope will as they get ready to head towards district play as we get ready to close out this volleyball season and then after they come back from Utica they will face off against the Moral Lions Got a good group of folks here watching this afternoon and this evening. Glad to have you along with us. Let's take a look at the Mustang football team's late season schedule. Tomorrow night, they travel to Shadron to take on the Shadron Cardinals, uh, the Shadron, Shadron's final game of the season. It is also homecoming in Shadron, so a big, big evening over in Shadron tomorrow night. That game does start at 6 o'clock, so tune in early. And note that it is about an hour earlier start than what we are used to. And then the Mustangs will close out the season the following week, October 23rd, when they host the Ogallala Indians here in Gordon. Just over four minutes to go before the start of the third match of the day between the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the Alliance Bulldogs. We'll step aside for a word from our sponsors and be back with a start of game action after this. Gordon Superfoods is proud to sponsor Gordon Rushville Mustang football. Superfoods is a full service grocery store that carries anything you might need. Check out the full service meat department 
or satisfy your sweet tooth at the Sand Hills Bakery. They have tons of great deals weekly, and if you don't have a rewards card, be sure to get one today. Good luck, Mustangs, from Gordon Superfoods. Good as it gets, the 2015 Competition Orange Mustang GT Premium. 5.0 liter V8 with 6 speed manual transmission, a 12 speaker Shaker Pro audio system, ebony leather, voice activated navigation, reverse park assist, and a slew of track features. Come to sides of Milburn Ford in Rushville. Call 327 2472 or visit sidesofmilburnford.com to learn more. When it comes to your land, it pays to be smart. At New Holland, smart means giving you a wide range of options to fit your needs, like smooth cutting, plug-free conditioning, and versatility. Smart means putting more hay in the bale and leaving less in the field. It also means providing exceptional after-sale support and growing a legacy that goes far beyond equipment. That's New Holland Smart. Visit your local New Holland dealer today. Two minutes to the start of our match between the Alliance Bulldogs and the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. Say thanks to sponsors of today's action. The First National Bank of Gordon, Husker Auto Parts, Strong Insurance, Gordon True Value, Bank of the West, Hins Home Furnishings, the Gordon Vision Center, Bob Alcorn State Farm Insurance, Accountant Carol Child, Modern Farm Equipment Company, Gordon Superfoods, Sides and Milburn Ford of Rushville, and the Sheridan County Journal Star, your source for all the news that is news in Sheridan County. Winding it down and just about ready for the introductions of the starting lineup for each team. Let's run down through those one more time for you before we get going. For the Alliance Bulldogs, the libero is Maggie Otto, number one. Number nine is Emerson Siza. Number 13 is Cammie Felker. Number 15, Madison Heemstra. Number 16, Madison Ryber. Number 22, Kayla Tridel. And number 31, Riley Rolls. And for the Mustangs, number one, Shania Friesman. Number two, Carly Hinn. Number three, Ashton Sassy. Number four, Kenna Campbell. Number 11, Josie Perez. And number 17, Keeley Campbell. Mustangs at 12 and 6, Alliance at 10 and 14. Ready for some outstanding volleyball action. Both of these teams defeated the Valentine Badgers in action earlier this afternoon. As we get ready for the match here, coming up in just seconds. We've had some up and downs with our uh, ups and downs with our internet here this afternoon. I think we've got things solved and ready to go. We will now turn it over to the public address announcer, Chuck Hinn, for the introductions of the starting lineups.
are the starting lineups of four of the two teams for Alliance. Siza, Felker, Heemstra, Ryber, Tridel, and Rolls. And for the Mustangs, Friesman, Hinn, Sassy, Kenna Campbell, Josie Perez, and Keeley Campbell. Mustangs will have their work cut out for them here as these Alliance Bulldogs are big and athletic. And they caused the Valentine Badgers a whole lot of heartburn up there at the net with that big and effective block in their match earlier. The Mustang hitters will have to contend with a big Alliance block as they get ready to start the third match of the day. I am Clint Anderson along with camera operator Berkeley Haig. Glad to have you along with us here this evening. The Mustangs will have the serve to start us off. Kenna Campbell puts it into play and away we go. Ryber sets it up for Rolls and Rolls' attack finds the mark. Riley Rolls with the kill and Alliance leads it one to nothing. Madison Heemstra steps back to serve for the Bulldogs. Keeley Campbell on the attack, sends it to the back line. Now Ryber, but that's blocked at the net by Carly Hinn. Keeley Campbell sets it up in the middle for Carly Hinn. Heemstra's there to dig it. Rolls on the attack, but that sharp angle shot sails wide, and we are tied at one. Josie Perez will serve for the Mustangs. They'll set it up for Siza. Big swing finds the end line. The kill for Siza, and it's two to one, Alliance with the lead. And now Madison Ryber will serve for the Bulldogs. Kenna Campbell sets it up in the middle for Carly Hinn. Big swing, but long. Three to one. Alliance leads by two. They'll set it for Friesman off the block. Heemstra's there to dig it out. This is Rolls on the attack. Blocked at the net by the Mustangs. Size a block by Hinn, but out of bounds. Hinn went up and blocked it. But it sails wide, and it's another uh, Alliance Bulldog point. They now lead it 4-1. to one. Ryber with the serve. Drives Friesman back to the deep corner, and now it'll be a free ball sent over by Keeley Campbell. Heemstra sets it for Felker coming out of the back row. And now they go to work for the Mustangs. Hinn's tip is blocked, but Hinn ends up underneath the net, and it's 5-1. to one as Alliance has opened up the four-point lead in the early going of the first set. Good serve that time. Now they set it up for Friesman. Through the block and down. Shania Friesman with the first Mustang kill of the game makes it 5-2. to two. And now Carly Hinn back to serve for the Mustangs. Maggie Otto digs it. Heemstra feeds it to Siza in the middle, through the block and down. Emerson Siza, with her second kill, makes it six to two, and back to a four-point lead. Now rolls on the serve. He'll set it for Friesman off that left side, and that is long. She had Siza staring her down on the other side of the net. Tried to go over the top and sent it too long. It's 8-2. to two. Quick tip that time by Kenna Campbell. Great job to see on the floor. There was a huge hole in the middle of the Alliance defense, and she found it. Give Kenna Campbell a kill, and it's 8-3. to three. So now Rivera in and rolls out as Keeley Campbell steps back to serve for the Mustangs. And that is an ace serve by Keeley Campbell. Rivera couldn't handle it. It's eight to four.
Campbell sets it up again and sends it to Rivera again. Now in the middle for Tridel. Keeley Campbell able to get that one from her knees. Now here's Siza off the block of Friesman and down for another Alliance point. And the third kill of the set for Emerson Siza. And it makes it eight to five. Carly Hinn has trouble, puts that one into the net. And it's an ace for Carly Hinn struggling mightily here as Emerson Siza with two straight aces and got Carly's number. And it's 10 to five. They'll set it for Perez out of the back row. Siza tries to set that, but she's gonna be called for the lift. Give the kill to Perez, it's 10 to six. And now Shania Friesman with that good jump serve, drives Otto back to the corner. They'll feed it to Felker. Friesman plays it out of the rafters and the free ball sent across by Kenna Campbell. Good job by the Mustangs. And here is Siza. Siza with the drive. She hits that thing a ton. It's 11 to 6. So Maggie Otto, the libero, back to serve for the Bulldogs. They lead it by 5 at 11 to 6. High short serve. Kenna Campbell slaps that one across. Heemstra sets it for Ryber in the middle, defeats the block of Ashton Sassy and knocks it down for her first kill of the set. 12 to six, Alliance has opened up a six point lead. Keeley Campbell sets it for Perez, cross court but wide. And it's now 13 to six. Alliance has some outstanding hitters. We saw them on display during the Valentine match. And there's an ace serve by Otto. As that one not handled cleanly by Keeley Campbell, it's now 14 to six. They'll set it up for Perez from the left side. Felker on the attack over the block of Campbell and Sassy. Now it's Perez through the block and down. Perez with her second kill. It's 14 to seven. Ashton Sassy back to serve for the Mustangs. Felker on the attack through the block and down. Perez and Hinn were there, but Felker knocks it down. It's 15 to seven. They'll set it up for Hinn from the left side. Big swing, but Felker is there. Otto with the set to Rolls this time. Back into that front row. In the middle for Hinn. Dug by Siza. Here's Rolls again. Over the top and just in front of Shania Friesman. Riley Rolls with two kills. And a timeout called on the floor by the Mustangs. Alliance leads this one 16 to seven in the first set. Accountant Carol Child is your one-stop resource for all of your accounting and tax needs and a whole lot more. You can give her a call at 282-0842 or you can find her office at 216 South Main Street in Gordon. And remember, it pays to have an accountant on your side. And this game is brought to you by agent Bob Alcorn of State Farm Insurance. Bob specializes in farm and ranch insurance. You can find him at 127 North Main Street in Gordon. And come see the professional staff at Gordon Vision Center for all of your vision needs. Whether you're just looking for a routine checkup or you're not seeing as well as you used to, they can get you back to 2020 in no time at all at the Gordon Vision Center. Alliance leads this one in the first set, 16 to seven. Alliance has the serve and that is Cami Felker back to do the honors for the Bulldogs. Kenna Campbell with a quick tip, but Siza is there. 
Heemster sets it up for Rolls. And Keeley Campbell sends the free ball across. In the middle for Ryber. There's Friesman off of the miss hit, but it's dug out by the Bulldogs. Riley rolls again, but they're going to say that one was off the tape. And four hits on the Bulldogs and a point for the Mustangs, 16 to 8. Rolls wound up and let it rip, but couldn't quite clear the tape on the top of the net. Kenna Campbell sends it across. Madison Ryber is going to end up flipping that one back over her head, and it's going to fall in for an Alliance Bulldog point, making it 17 to 8. Maddie Heemstra now back to serve for the Bulldogs. Into the middle for Hinn. Here's Rolls with the free ball across. Keeley Campbell tight to the net, had to just tip it across. Nice save that time on the Ryber attack by the Mustangs. Now they'll set Siza. Big swing and Kenna Campbell sends it all the way back across. Here's Rolls, but she knocks it down around the block of Hinn and Keeley Campbell. For her third kill, it's 18 to 8. And Maddie Heemstra has served sails long, and it's 18 to 9. Josie Perez with the serve. They'll set it for Siza. Ashton Sassy paid the price, but she kept it alive. And now the Mustangs send the free ball wide and another Bulldog point. Makes it 19 to nine. So Madison Ryber back to serve for Alliance as Rolls comes out of the game. And Carly Farrader comes in for the Bulldogs. Siza punches that one across. Quick tip try by Keeley Campbell finds the floor. And that'll be Keeley's first kill of the game. 19 to 10, and Carly Hinn steps back to serve. Heemster sets it up for Tridal, but Hinn is there. Now they'll set it for Friesman. Straight down to the floor by Shania Friesman. Her second kill. It's 19 to 11. A well-placed set that time from Kenna Campbell. And Shania put it where she wanted it. Here's a back row attack by Felker. They'll feed Friesman again, but Felker is there. Siza slaps that one across. Keeley Campbell able to tip it over. Here's Ferreter. In with the dig. In the middle for Sassy. Dug out by Otto. Ferreter bumps it across for the Bulldogs. Now they'll set Friesman again. Off the block and down. Siza and Tridal were there. Friesman did a great job of using the top of the net and getting it to drop in behind him for the kill. It's 19 to 12. They'll set it for Tridal on the left side. Kenny Campbell with a one-handed save. Perez with a sharp angle shot, finds the sideline for the kill. Great job that time. Ability to see the court and put that ball where she wanted it to. It was a sharp, sharp angle shot for Josie Perez. But she got it to drop, and it's 19 to 13. The Mustangs trail by just six in the first set. Carly Hinn serving a nice string here for the Mustangs. Set by Ferreter, Heemstra to Siza, and that one falls right in between Hinn and Kenna Campbell. Miscommunication that time, and it's 20 to 13. Carly Ferreter steps back to serve for Alliance. And now we're gonna say a rotation violation on the Mustangs, and that'll cost them a point. It's 21 to 13. Campbell sets it up for Keeley Campbell. And in the net 
is Felker for the Bulldogs. That's a Mustang point. It's 21 to 14. Keeley Campbell steps back to serve. That one right up to the net on the overpass. In and down. And a point for the Mustangs. And it's 21 to 15. Siza with the quick set that time. Kenna Campbell tips it back across. Now here's Felker on the attack. And Felker with the kill. That is her second, 22 to 15. It's a seven point Bulldog lead. And Emerson Siza back to serve for Alliance. That one's in the net, 22 to 16 now. And Shania Friesman back to serve for the Mustangs. Ferreter with the dig, Heemstra with the quick tip, and it is just wide of the mark. And another Mustang point, it's 22 to 17. Mustangs back within five, trying to claw their way back into this one. Down by as many as 10. But they trail it by just five here. Maggie Otto on the attack. Carly Hinn coming out of the back row. Heemstra off balance, it caught the top of the net. And it's a kill for Carly Hinn. And we, got, we, got, we have a timeout called on the floor by the Alliance Bulldogs. The, the Mustangs have clawed their way back in within four. It's 22 to 18. Hinn's Home Furnishings invites you to come and see their completely remodeled store. New items are arriving daily. They have a full line of appliances sofas, recliners, mattresses, and a whole lot more. And if you don't see exactly what you're looking for, they can get it for you. They also offer free local delivery. And remember, every dollar that you spend locally keeps money in our community. Stop in and see the good folks, Chuck and all the rest of them, at Hinn's Home Furnishings in downtown Gordon. And come bank with the best. Bank of the West offers all banking services, including mortgages. Come enjoy their welcoming atmosphere, and you know that the coffee pot is always on at the Bank of the West in Gordon. 22 to 18, Mustangs trail it by four in the first set. Shania Friesman with the serve. Heemstra sets it up for Felker. And now Carly Hinn sends that one across. They'll set it up middle for Kayla Tridel. Now here's Josie Perez. Cross court winner again. Josie's started to make a living off of that shot late here in the second set and the Mustangs back within three, 22 to 19. They trailed by as many as 10 at 19 to nine, but they've come roaring back, trying to steal this first set away from the Alliance Bulldogs. They'll set Felker, she'll have to tip it, but Perez is there. Now they'll set it back for Perez. She tips it across. Felker into the face of Kalen Bauer. Another kill for Perez. That's five, and the Mustangs within two, 22 to 20. Heemstra with the quick tip, but Friesman is there. They'll set it for Perez. Sent that one to the back corner. Here's Felker on the attack. Off of Keeley Campbell to the back wall, 23 to 22 now, as Tridel out and Maggie Otto into the game. And a timeout called on the floor by Coach Kim Campbell. Mustangs trail at 23 to 20. It's time to get out and winterize your home and your yard and whatever else it is that you need to get winterized because October is just about gone and cold weather is right around the corner. Stop in and see Buck and the gang at the True Value of Gordon. They've got everything you need to get the job done and you can find them in downtown Gordon. Family owned since 1932, Strong Insurance is your independent insurance company offering all forms of insurance. 3-20, Alliance leads it by three, Maggie Otto 
back to serve. Otto with that high short serve. They feed Sassy in the middle and she knocks it down. Drops that one in nicely, but Maggie Otto is there. Ryber on the attack. They'll set it for Perez. Heemstra sets Otto out of the back row. Kenny Campbell with a quick tip. They get the pancake, but it's going to be... On the line, it was a bad, bad set, but it just barely cleared the net and landed on the Mustang side, and now it's 24-22 Alliance with set point. So a bad turn of luck that time for the Mustangs, because now they'll set Carly Hinn. That one's blocked back across, and the free ball sent across by the Mustangs. Bulldogs go to work in the middle for Ryber. Back outside for Perez, sharp angle shot. Went to the well one too many times as that one sails wide. And the Bulldogs take the first set 25 to 22. But not after the Mustangs made a valiant comeback effort. They're down by as many as 10. They came back. They lose it by three, 25 to 22. Husker Auto Parts is your local CarQuest dealer. They offer a wide selection of CarQuest parts and, of course, CarQuest accessories. You can find them at 221 North Main Street in Gordon and ask them about their fall bulk oil sale. That's going on now at Husker Auto Parts in Gordon. And the First National Bank of Gordon proudly celebrates over 125 years of locally made decisions and supporting our community. That is the First National Bank of Gordon. First set goes to the Alliance Bulldogs by a score of 25-22. We'll be back with second set action after this. It's going to snow this winter, and you need a reliable four-wheel drive outfit. Be prepared with this 2015 F-150 Super Crew from Sides and Melbourne Ford in Rushville. It's loaded with... Just about ready for second set action. The Bulldogs lead this one one set to none. And like to extend our condolences to head coach Kim Campbell. Her grandfather passed away earlier this week and I know that she is certainly coaching with a heavy heart here this afternoon and so our thoughts and prayers certainly go out to coach Kim Campbell and her family. We are we're just about ready to get this second set underway. Alliance will have the serve to get things started, and that'll be Maddie Heemstra, Alliance's setter, back there to start things off for the Bulldogs. The starting six on the floor for the Mustangs and also for the Bulldogs, and there's an ace set to start things off for Maddie Heemstra. She gets the ace and it's one to zero in favor of the Bulldogs. Kenna Campbell sets it up for Perez, blocked right back across. Friesman with the attack. Now here's Siza. She knocks that one down. That is amazingly only her fifth kill of the match, but Alliance leads it two to zero. Deep serve that time. They'll set it up for Hinn. Otto with the dig. And now Siza sends the free ball across. In the middle for Hinn. And there's Otto again, but it falls harmlessly to the floor. Give Carly her second kill of the match. It's 2-1. to one. Kenna Campbell back to serve. Good. 
and Siza didn't handle that cleanly. Heemster sends the free ball over. Now they'll set it up for Perez. Perez has had a good game. Here's Ryber in the middle, but that one is just inside the line. And it's an alliance point, making it three to one. So now Maddie Ryber to serve for the Alliance Bulldogs. And they hold on to the three to one lead. Early off the block of Tridal and down. Her third kill of the match. It's three to two. Mustangs trail by one. Josie Perez back to serve for the Mustangs. Rolls digs it. Now they'll set it up for Tridal. Set Siza again, and she'll tip it this time. Caught Kenna Campbell off guard. She can't save it, and it's four to three. O'Reilly rolls on the serve, sends it to the back corner. In the middle for Hinn. Rolls with the dig, and now it's Felker with the tip, but she didn't get it far enough. It's in the net, and it's a Mustang point. We're tied at four. Carly Hinn back to serve. Rivera in and rolls out of the Alliance lineup. Siza with the set this time. Felker on the attack. And that one is good for an Alliance point. Felker's third kill of the match makes it five to Emerson Siza on the serve. Overpass that time. And another one, the joust at the net. Kenna Campbell wins it and knocks it down for the Mustang point. We're tied at five. Oh, a great job by the Mustang setter, Kenna Campbell. Went up and defeated that Alliance blocker. And now they'll set it for Siza out of the back row, but that one is well beyond the end line. Mustangs with the lead at six to five. Well, this is kind of the way Alliance played in that first match as that served by Keeley Campbell is long and they defeated the uh, Badgers of Valentine handily in the first set and then kind of let up in the second and let Valentine hang around. They're doing the same thing here as we're tied at six. Friesman, that one's blocked at the net by Ryber. Seven, six Bulldogs. Maggie Otto now back to serve for the Alliance Bulldogs. Quick tip try by Kenna Campbell. And here's Felker again, but blocked at the net by Kenna Campbell and Ashton Sassy. The Mustangs block has been good in this second set. We are tied at seven. Shania Friesman with the serve. They'll set it for Felker. And that one is just inside the line. The line judge started to motion that it was out, changed her mind and said it was in. Eight to seven Alliance. Rolls in and Rivera now out for the Bulldogs. Felker back to serve. Alliance by one. They'll set it for Perez. That's off of Rolls. And the kill for Josie Perez. That is her sixth. We're tied at eight. Back and forth volleyball action. Very competitive second set. They'll set it for Ryber. Keeley Campbell with the save. Now they'll set rolls from the left side. Ashton Sassy was there but couldn't quite get enough on it. Nine to eight Alliance. And now Heemstra to serve. Free ball sent over by Friesman. They're going to say that Bulldogs got underneath of that. So here's Perez on the attack. 
Felker with the save, and now the free ball by Ryber. They'll set it in the middle for Hinn. Big swing that time. Pass comes back, and now over onto the Mustang side. Free ball by Kenna Campbell. Now they'll set Siza. That's off the block of Hinn, and down for a Bulldog point. It's now 10 to 8. A great rally that time by both teams. Alliance extends their lead to two. Heemster drops that serve just over the net. Friesman can't handle it, and it is an ace for Maddie Heemstra. 11 to eight. Overpass that time by Sassy. Alliance goes to work. This is Rolls, blocked at the net by Hinn. And then miscommunication between Heemstra and Ryber. It's 11 to nine. Kenna Campbell to serve. And now Heemstra's gonna come out and Molly Oligmuller into the game. 11 to nine, it's a two point Bulldog lead. Oligmuller sets it for size of the one handed flip, gets back across. Here's Perez off the block of Ryber and down. Josie Perez has had a good afternoon. She's got seven kills so far here in this match and the Mustangs back within one, 11 to 10. Kenna Campbell to serve. Overpass slammed to the floor by Keeley Campbell. She mashed that one into the floorboards. We are tied at 11. Oleg Mueller pops it up for Siza off the top of the net. Here's Hinn in the middle. To the back corner and down. The Mustangs have some momentum here midway through this second set. They lead it 12 to 11. Kenna Campbell puts it in play. That is just beyond the end line, and we are tied at 12. Madison Ryber steps back to serve. They set it up for Josie Perez. That is just on the line. Just caught the line that time. Chalk another one up. That is number eight for Josie. And Mustangs lead it 13 to 12. So Molly Oligmuller in there doing the setting in place of Maddie Heemstra for Alliance. That attack by Siza. And now Hinn with the one-handed save sends it across. Here's Tridel in the middle, off the block of Friesman and Hinn, and down to the floor. So Tridel with her first kill, tied at 13, and this is Riley Rolls. Good serve by Rolls. The overpass falls down, falls in, falls over the net. And now the Mustangs go back to work. Here's Friesman. A lot of momentum that time. Shania Friesman puts that one to the floor. And the Mustangs lead it 14 to 13. Rivera in, rolls out. And Carly Hinn to serve. The Mustangs having some fun here in this second set. Great serve that time by Carly Hinn. Size a pop the attack. Back. Friesman. But Rivera digs it out. Tight to the net, sharp angle shot by Siza. And that one is. Strong Insurance, Gordon, True Value, Bank of the West, Hens Home Furnishings, the Gordon Vision Center, State Farm Insurance, Accountant Carol Child, Modern Farm Equipment, Gordon Superfoods, Sides in Milburn Ford, and the Sheridan County, 16 to 13. Carly Hinn with the serve. Siza sets it up for Tridel in the middle, the tip. Here's Friesman on the attack, and Shania Friesman chocks another one up. Give her five on the match. Mustangs lead it now 17 to 13. And Carly Hinn serves it up. 
that one is just beyond the end line, 17 to 14. Mustang lead is cut to three. Heemstra in, Oleg Mueller out. And Siza to serve. Keeley Campbell on the attack. Heemstra sets it up. This is Felker with the tip try. Kayla Tridel on the attack that time. And Friesman drops it just inside the line. A little bit of confusion that time. Perez was going to go for it, but Friesman was in front of her, didn't know she was there. It's 18 to 14. The Mustangs lead it by four. Mustangs playing loose and having fun here in this second set. They'll set it for Felker. Carly Hinn with the dig that time, and now the free ball sent over by Perez. Here's Felker on the attack again. And the Mustangs can't quite get that one to across the net. A great effort that time by three Mustangs, including Shania Friesman. But it's 18 to 15, and now Maggie Otto will serve for the Bulldogs. They'll set Friesman through the block and down. Maddie Ryber was there, but Shania Friesman would not be denied her seventh kill of the match, and it's 19 to 15. Shania steps back to serve. Rivera with the dig. Felker from the right side, and she finds pay dirt that time. Mark one up for number 13. That's her fourth. And it's 19 to 16. And Felker now will step back to serve. Confusion on the Mustang side. Keeley Campbell sends it over. Siza sets it up for rolls, but Friesman is there. Perez finds the back line, touched by the blocker, and down to the floor. Josie Perez now has 10 kills. She is lighting it up in the second set. Ashton Sassy to serve, and the Mustangs lead it 20 to 16. Rolls tries to set that. Now she'll try to send it across. Blocked at the net by Hinn and Kenna Campbell. 21 to 16. Mustangs by five. Timeout called on the floor by the Bulldogs. Mustangs looking good here in the second set. They lead it 21 to 16. The Honda Accord EX. This 2008 sedan has a V6 engine automatic transmission, and a leather interior. Sides and Milburn offer a world-class detailer, a professional service department, and now do consignments. Stop by Sides and Milburn Ford to see this car and many more. So outstanding second set volleyball action from the Gordon Rushville Triangular. The Mustangs lead the Alliance Bulldogs 21 to 16 in the second set. Ashton Sassy serves it up. Alliance on the attack. This is Ryber, but it's in the net. And another Mustang point, 22 to 16. They'll set it up. This is Siza out of the back row. Blocked at the net by Hinn. 23 to 16. And Ole Mo is sitting on the Mustang side and wearing a white jersey right now. Mustangs by seven late in the second set. That served by Ashton Sassy with a little too much adrenaline. Beyond the end line, it's 23 to 17. Maddie Ryber, or excuse me, Maddie Heemstra back to serve for Alliance. And that one misplayed by Friesman that time. 23 to 18, give the ace to Heemstra. And that would be her second ace of the set. 23 to 18. Just clears the net and another ace serve. So Heemstra 
after a little bit of rest on the bench, has come back out and serving well here. 23 to 19. Mustangs two points away. High short serve. Friesman with the set. Kenna Campbell sends it back to Felker. They'll set it for Siza, the big swing, and it is down for an alliance point. Eighth kill of the match for Siza. The Bulldogs back within three at 23 to 20. And another ace, and Coach Campbell wants a timeout. That is three aces in this string of serves for Madison Heemstra. And it's a two-point game at 23 to 21. And folks, if you're looking for something to do on Saturday, head over to Rushville for the Rushville Rancher Roundup. It starts at 10 o'clock, runs through 4 o'clock. Cattle and livestock all up and down Main Street in Rushville. It's kind of a combination bull bash and Oktoberfest. Stop in and have some great food. Catch up with the neighbors. Try some salsa and some homemade pie. Check out all of the vendors and have a generally good time at the Rushville Rancher Roundup. That's this Saturday from 10 to 4 in downtown Rushville. Back to volleyball action. Mustangs out of timeouts. 23 to 21. Mustangs lead it by two, trying to close out this second set. Carly Hinn, but her attack is long, and it's a one-point game, 23 to 22. The Mustangs had played so loose throughout this whole set, now tightening up just a little bit here. Quick attack that time by Kenna Campbell. Works out as it's not returned, and now we've got set point for the Mustangs, 24 to 22. Kenna Campbell to serve. They'll set it for Siza. Off the block of Keeley Campbell. Alliance gets the point, it's 24 to 23, and it'll be another set point for the Mustangs. Madison Riber serves for the Bulldogs. Campbell with the set. Hinn in the middle. Blocked by Siza and Tridel. And we are tied at 24. Tied at 24. Riber with the serve. Campbell sets it up for Perez, pops it over the top of that big block. Now they'll set it back up for Rolls. Friesman is there to dig it. Here's Perez with a big attack, but Tridel and Siza are there for the block. And now it's Alliance who has come back to score three straight. It's now 25 to 24 and match point now for the Bulldogs. Kenneth Campbell sends it to the back corner and just wide. One, one uh, line judge says it's out. The other says it's in. The up official says no, it is out. And that is the match, 26 to 24. Well played by the Mustangs. They gave the Bulldogs all they could handle in that second set, but they fall in two straight sets by scores of 22-25 and 24-26. We'll do some quick addition here and try and get some unofficial game stats for you. Now let's see if we can do this on the fly. For the Mustangs, Shania Friesman finished with seven kills. Carly Hinn had four. Ashton Sassy with one and Kenna Campbell each with one. Josie Perez did the damage offensively for the Mustangs tonight. She had 10 kills in the set. Keeley Campbell had two. The only ace in this uh, match for the Mustangs was by Keeley Campbell, and she had one. Unofficially, of course, also for the Alliance Bulldogs, Emerson Siza with seven kills, Cami Felker with four, Madison Riber with two, Kayla Tridel with one, and Riley Rolls with three. Aces, Maggie Otto had one, Emerson Siza with two, Madison Heemstra had four of them, all of those in the second set. And Madison Riber with two. 
Alliance takes the match. Two straight sets, 22-25 and 24-26. They go undefeated in the triangular after they defeated Valentine in two straight sets. The Mustangs finish one and one on the day after they defeated Valentine and fall to the Alliance Bulldogs. And the Valentine Badgers finish at 0-2 on the day. We will be in action again tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Make sure you tune in a little bit early as it is a 6 o'clock start over in Shadron. It's homecoming night for the Shadron Cardinals. Mustangs head over there trying to pick up their fourth win of the season. Always a good one. A rivalry game between the Cardinals and the Mustangs. That's tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. So that is it for the Gordon Rushville Triangular. Alliance comes out on top, they win the Triangular. And we get ready for football action tomorrow night. So join us tomorrow night at six o'clock on SheridanCountyJournalStar.net. Until then, I'm Clint Anderson saying thanks very much for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow.